Now, Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. Well, good evening, everyone. After a championship season, you Albany head football coach Greg Catuso is rewarded for it, right? First on 13, Catuso will sign a two-year extension to his deal. He's been at U Albany for 10 years. He had one year left on the current contract, so add two more, and Greg is locked in through the 2026 season. U Albany won it, the school's first ever CAA championship, won all the way to the national semifinals before losing to eventual national champion South Dakota State. The Great Danes ended up 11-4 overall, 7-1 in the CAA. So much for Broad Alban Perth grad Matt Gage getting a chance to play for the Yankees. The left-handed relief pitcher is headed to Los Angeles where he'll play for the Dodgers. The Yankees in search of bullpen help pulled off a trade today with the Dodgers for left-handed reliever Caleb Ferguson. As part of the exchange for Ferguson, the Yankees sent Gage to Los Angeles. Gage has been claimed off waivers from the Astros last month by New York. News Channel 13 releasing its top five high school boys and girls basketball polls on this Monday. On the boys' side, undefeated Colony rolling along at 17-0, followed by Albany Academy, Catholic Central, McKeel, and Glens Falls round out the top five. Bethlehem, not the top five, but in Class AA, they're going to be a tough out when the playoffs begin. Bethlehem under head coach A.G. Irons is 13-4 and four overall. Four of those losses were close, and the Eagles led in scoring by Cam LeClaire are looking forward to the postseason. I mean, all of our losses uh, were super close, super good battles, so I mean, we're a really good team, and I think we're a little unexpected uh, when we go in sectionals. Yeah. All right, and they'll host Saratoga tomorrow night. Just a few games left in the season, regular season. Top five girls, undefeated Averill Park is one, followed by Catholic Central. Shen drops to three, Albany Academy, and Albany High round out the top five. Thank you, you Roger. Go. Paul's back with another look at your first warning forecast. But first, let's check in with Rachel Teedy to find out what's new for tonight. Rachel. Mark, new at 11. A man facing charges accused of trying to burn a political sign in Great Barrington. Why the case might not end up before a jury. And new at 9, a legal battle is unfolding over the disciplinary record of one of the top drug cops in Berkshire County. How that could impact some other.